What is going on A1 gang? We're back with another video. Today we got a 2018 BMW 650i X-Drive Grand Coupe. There it is right there, man. The Grand Coupe. It's 2019, but it's a 2018 vehicle. It is what it is, still brand new. Very beautiful car. Well, coupe, whatever they want to call it. It's, to me, it's a sedan, but they call it a coupe. You got the 650i badging right there. X drive badge right there to let you know that it's all wheel drive. Got the dual pipes right there. Got the quad exhaust. Very beautiful car. BMW wheels with the M right there. Does have the M package on it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and um, got the sunroof up there too. Let's go ahead and uh, hop in it and um, well, not hopping in it yet, but uh, let's go ahead and open up the trunk real quick. <clears throat> it's not power lift and it just pops open then you got to lift it yourself but you got a nice amount of room back here very spacious you got run flat tires on it like every other BMW let's go ahead and hop into the sticker get into the meat and potatoes of it <clears throat> so right here on the sticker you got the 2018 the ultimate driving machine right there BMW 760i X-Drive Grand Coupe. So you got the Alpine white with the black uh, Napa leather in here. You got the driving assistance package, which is a $1,700 package. You got the driving go, I mean the driving assistance plus package, $1,200. You got the M Sport package as well. The M Sport edition, which is a $4,700 option. You can see all the options right there. Brings your total with all of those packages and everything to one hundred six, four hundred and ninety-five dollars, man. So that's a big penny. So you got a, um, <clears throat> you got a four point four liter BMW twin turbo V eight, thirty two valve with an eight speed transmission, and that's putting out four hundred and forty five horsepower and four hundred eighty foot pounds of torque. Then you're getting for your gas mileage 16 in the city, 25 on the highway for 19 miles per gallon combined. There's all your fuel cost and all of that good stuff. Let's go ahead and hop in and then it was assembled right there in Germany as you can see. So let's go ahead and uh, give y'all this exhaust note real quick. Start it up. Let y'all take a look underneath the hood. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look underneath the hood real quick, man, because that exhaust note is crazy. And I didn't even step on the gas like that, just barely. So right there, you got the LED angel lights right there, peeking out at you. Very beautiful car. Let's go ahead and pop that hood. 20 turbos right there, ladies and gentlemen. 
445 horsepower, 480 foot pounds of torque. <clears throat> Getting sick, man. <laughs> Then we got a big snowstorm coming in later too. <laughs> so you got the heads up display in this one as well too, as you can see right there. Let's get in it and talk about some features. So the reason why they call it a um, a coupe, I'm guessing, is because it's like a frameless uh, window and everything. Every coupe that I've seen like this, that they call it a coupe, it's always frameless right here with the pillars and stuff. So right here, when you close the uh, the door. Or open the door the window comes down a little bit as you can see see how the window comes down and you just open it you also got the touch sensors on all the doors right here so let's go ahead and lead it you also got the LEDs incorporated into the mirror right here as well too let's go ahead and get in here real quick talk about the inside so right here you got the soft leather everything is soft touch stitched you got the Harman Kardon sound system or Harman Kardon like I like to say leather stitch soft touch Got the real wood with the striations right there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that, man. My voice is going out a little bit. Typical door buttons. You got the sunshade in the back right there. You got the M right there, badging on the door seal. This is like a blue film that's over it. You take that off and it's aluminum. So right here, you got your typical seat buttons right here. And then you got your thigh support right there. Move that back and forth with that button right there. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and get in here real quick. Talk about the inside. So, <clears throat> in the inside right here, suede all on the roof right here, Alcantara, whatever you want to call it. Very nice materials. Nothing is cheap in this vehicle, man. BMW really, really outdid themselves on this one. Now, this is what luxury is right here. Like, I like the woods and everything. Like, to me, that's what makes a luxury car. And then you got the sportiness of it too, because you're getting that big V8, 445 horsepower. That's not no slouch at all. Now you might think that it seems like not enough power. Again, this car is what a hundred and some thousand dollars, but 440 some horsepower is plentiful. Just because you got Dodge out here dropping 707 horsepower and 797 and all that, it's kind of unusable at that point because they don't have all-wheel drive so you're just losing traction no matter what you do to a charger or a challenger you're gonna lose traction you got all your sensors right here blind spot detection vehicle information all of this good stuff right here all of these sensors right here lane departure uh your adaptive cruise control fog light buttons over there and everything you got the digital readout right here all of that's digital it just got the crowning is this your bag here sir yes i just want to make sure all right no problem <laughs> You got the digital um, display right there. Sorry about that. He was asking me about my camera bag that's out there. I got it on a uh, somewhat of the curb, so he didn't want to, you know. But uh, yeah, you got the heads up display right there in the front. All of that's digital right there. Like I said, only thing that's um, that's not digital is those little crown crown things around there. But everything else is digital. Looks nice and crisp. Beautiful layout in here, man. I'm feeling this one, BMW. I know, I, I know in the past I've bashed, you know, but I, I only bashed the 3 Series, man. I, I, it's something about the 3 Series I just don't like about it. I don't know what. I guess it's overrated in my opinion. Soft touch on the dash, stitched, everything nice. No gaps or anything that's even stitched. Everything is nice in here. Nice big screen. That's about a 12 inch. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get that off of here. There you go right there. Go to your navigation or your maps so let's just go to the map so map is nice and crisp right there man doesn't look dated or anything nice and crispy and clear easy to navigate too you can also touch the screen as well too oh not in this one um so right here you got to use this <clears throat> i know in the other bmws in the past that i reviewed some of them you can't touch the screen but this one guess you just can't just touch it but uh nonetheless this is easy to operate very responsive quick does whatever you need it to do in a quick fashionable amount of time um it has bluetooth audio and all of that stuff i didn't see anything on the sticker about the um android auto or apple carplay but 
nowadays really is not too many manufacturers as far as the luxury car brands that's putting android auto or apple carplay they're still kind of behind you got the little economical cars putting it in there that's kind of weird because you would think like luxury cars would be the first ones to jump on it then the economical cars will hop on it too but to each his own you got the automatic stop start button right here to turn the, um when you come to a stoplight it cuts the car off you can turn it off you got your door lock buttons here dual climate control the real wood down there as well too very beautiful wood got your cup holders right here this stuff is kind of cold so when i pushed it like that i didn't push it hard enough so there it is right there it's not stuck or anything you got the usb with the two cup holders right there as well so yeah it's, it's cold the, the little spring thing this car has been sitting for a while too right out here so right here you got your sport mode tap that button right there you're in sports dynamic settings and all of that stuff you can configure it you got your comfort and balance settings comfort plus eco pro and then you got your sport and sport plus and you can customize all of those different driving modes as well too so there's all your modes that pops up right here too and like when you put it in sport plus the gauges turn red your traction turns off when you put it in just sport your traction turns back on so you have full control of this car total full control also right there that little white thing is your speed limit wherever you're on the streets got your um your parking hold your electronic parking brake i meant right here's your uh key fob nice key fob everything is is soft touch man you got cup holders not a cup holder but the cigarette lighter and everything right here as well too got your center console right here opens up just like that you can also put the key in here out of the key fob right here and lock this right here if you got people that you don't want going in your stuff and uh it's not not too much in here you got the you got a usb and an aux cord right there you got your trunk button where you can turn it on and turn it off to lock it then over here you got your glove box not too big not that small either but it's nice so in this vehicle you do got heated and cooled seats down there as well heated seats cool seats dual climbing as i've stated before the menu is very nice and easy to use man it's just it's very simple as i can say you got your different driving uh information right here driver profiles technology um i drive settings let's see if we can get it to the camera to see how the camera looks options let's see you can also split screen to screen so you can have navigation up and something else like the radio or something like that too let's go ahead and see i don't see anything for the camera button so you got your phone right here where you can get into your contacts and all of that stuff bmw messages i'm just going to put it in reverse real quick just so we can see how the camera looks so right here you just put it in reverse like that well hold on so you just put it in reverse like that and that's your camera and there you go so i'm gonna put it back in park because the sensors is going crazy and it's back in park so there's your sensors as you can see it's going crazy right now because we are close by some other cars as well so you got all of those sensors right there that's telling you all the way around the car as you can see it's going crazy back there and the car's in park right now so it's just letting you know before you even back out that you know hey all of this stuff is behind you so don't back up so very nice let's go ahead and um going to the back also you got the paddle shifters right here which is very nice touch structured and bolstered got the aluminum on them as well too on your steering wheel right here you got your big m badging right here you got your cruise control buttons and all of that good stuff right there your phone buttons volume modes let's get in the back seat real quick Hundred and six thousand, man <clears throat> same materials on this back door that's on the front door as well also you got the sunshade right here too we'll talk about that in a second you can move this seat up too at least it's not moving up for me right now but let's get back here so even with that seat all the way back with this being a um a coupe or whatever my legs are not smashed because it it's actually soft back here but i don't have much leg room but this seat is all the way back as you can see my headroom is good it's not the greatest but you know the roof kind of slopes back so <clears throat> you 
you don't have any middle space so only four people can fit in this car essentially let's go ahead and close up this back door real quick you got the sunshade on the door right here that you could lift up and it goes up just like that push that button and it goes down you can also push the passengers up as well just like that and then you can also put up the rear one with just that button right there bam now it's up put it back down you also got the pass through to the trunk right here in the center uh, right here you got your storage cup holders you got your climbing back here you got <clears throat> man my voice is really you got the quad climbing control in here too so you can control your climbing over here and the person over there can control their climbing too as you can see so that's pretty cool so let's um let's get back in the front because i didn't show y'all the sunroof actually either so but nonetheless it's easy to get in and out even with that seat being as far back as it is too but it's it's a nice you know nice low it's nice and lowered to the ground so it's not like a big um jump where you're getting in and out so right up here you got your sun um not your sun visor your sun yeah your sun visor with the vanity mirror and the light i don't know i'm lost for words today so right here you got your uh sunroof right here you just open up that shade just like that nice that's also um wrapped in suede as well big sunroof on deck and that opens as well too but we're not gonna open that because it's cold outside and uh yeah man this 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 right here is where it's at man very nice bmw but um just like that man this video is over see y'all in the next review and thank you for watching i'm gone